Okay, back again. Um, sadly, I'm going to have to play through one of these Bellcat um, 35 watt bass amps. Now, it's, it's an absolute dreadful amp. Terrible. If anyone's ever seen them, tempted to buy one, don't do it. Don't waste your money. Tones are terrible. No matter how you have it set, you cannot get any decent tones out of it. It's dreadful. Badly, badly made. Typical Chinese rubbish, to be honest. It's, uh, it's very sad. You know, if they had quality control on these things, I'm sure they'd be decent, but there doesn't seem to be any. Uh, it all looks good. When you look at the controls, you've got everything there you really need, but you're still hard pressed to get a decent tone out of it. I've changed the speaker in there. I've put a better bass speaker in there. Um, I've put padding in there because the the amp the bits on the amplifier vibrate like crazy and you cannot stop them. You can't tighten things up. I've tried. I've tried tightening everything. Dreadful. So this is just a quick rundown on the on the bell bell cap. Just as a warning for anyone who sees one, thinks, oh, that looks good. It's handy size. It's 35 watts. Don't waste your money because that's what it is. That you know, it's one of those things that I just feel like throwing it away. If I didn't have another amplifier this would have been long gone. So that's gonna be my next purchase eventually. Right, anyway, move on to the double bass again. <laughs> 